In a little more than 48 hours, North Carolina's new tax laws go into effect. And as part of the new tax code, some popular money-saving exemptions are getting the axe. News 13's Ingrid Allstead is here to explain what that means for taxpayers in the state. Tammy, you might not make less money in 2014, but you could have less to spend when numerous tax exemptions expire in just two days. Just read the fine print. In Nashville Bookstore, Bill Hodge has the taxing job of understanding... What's wrong with taxes? That's debatable. The obvious answer is it's no fun to pay them. The state's income tax rate is actually going down for every taxpayer in the new year, but Governor Pat McCrory is allowing the expiration of some previous deductions that critics say will hurt the poor and the middle-class taxpayers. Can you tell the man how old you are? Four. Daycare for little Luna will no longer be a deduction for mom Rebecca Cheatham. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a problem. And that popular tax-free weekend for school supplies, gone. It's been bam, 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 one really negative thing after the other. The Herbert family will lose the deduction on the college savings account they've started for daughter Ivy. Education's the best thing we can do for the quality of our nation. Yeah, and I think that everybody deserves an education because everybody deserves to be as smart as they can be. And 2014 will eliminate deductions on retirement income. That might leave a bad taste in your mouth. Analysis from the legislator's very own research team shows that a married couple with two children making less than $20,000 a year would have gotten a $200 tax rebate in 2013, but in the new year they will have to owe $40. I think that's incredibly unfair because right now I make less than $20,000 a year. I work part-time. Um, if it was just me without my husband helping, that, that would be a huge devastation to us. The obvious response is that it's great fun to collect them. And as Bill ponders if taxes are good or bad, we still have to pay them. Since every dollar paid is a dollar collected, you could argue that the good and the bad wash out. The governor and state Republican leaders have said the tax reform package will mean taxpayers will be able to keep more money. But they say this does not mean literally every single individual.